Hello, Mr. Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video. Today we have two replays to show you in the Tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, the IS-7. Now, I had a request on the channel to get some replay replays in the IS-7, so I've got two to show you today, the first of which being on Sand River, where we have no enemy artillery and no enemy light tank, but we do have a bunch of tank destroyers thanks to the tank destroyer uh, contract running where it restricts you to only play tank destroyers. So you are seeing a lot of tank destroyers in the matchmaking because of that reason. So initially we're going to go and play the dunes on the right hand side here um, and just we're just going to see what, we, what gets spotted. Um, and then see if we can get any shots maybe on the cross so we don't have to worry about getting shot by the artillery so that is um, helpful but hopefully we can try you know and get into a brawl because the IS-7 has absolutely fantastic turret armour the turret armour is, is fantastic you know it's, it's very very um, very very good when you're hold down in this tank so we get detected here is by an enemy um, uh, S-bar and we don't really want to get hit by that but we do manage to put a shot back in with our 490 Alpha gun, uh, picking up the first shot of damage. And I can already see a lot of tanks are crossing on this right hand side and they're going to sort of battle up in the sort of A8, um, A8 9 area. So I want to try and uh, work out a way to deal with these tanks um, because there's going to be a lot of camping tank destroyers I suspect at the A1, A2 area. So I need to try and put a little bit of pressure on um, to try and just get into this game uh, and try and just get into a fight as early as possible. So this enemy terrain here up on this ridge, ideally I want to try and get up underneath the ridge um, so that that terrain basically can't play anywhere without getting detected and that will just help a team out because it's going to stop us eating shots by the terrain. Uh, there's nothing really punish me on the cross here so I should be able to get up. This terrain is now a one shot to us. Uh, I do have to be careful over peaking this ridge because obviously I could then get shot by a lot of the tank destroyers uh, crossing. I am playing fairly aggressive but I'm in an I-7, there's no artillery and I just want to try and get into a battle. I only have 6 degrees of gun depression so this chisel is going to be able to sort of lean on the ridge but if I can say hold down to him he's going to have a hard time uh, penning us and, and at least now I'm stopping that chisel from being able to sort of shoot at our other enemy teammates. Put one into enemy waffle, the chisel knows I'm on reloads, he's trying to look for a shot in, I'm doing my best to try and get a hold down. He does bounce a uh, shot there. Like I say, you are your pike nosed on the IS-7, on the armour, so you don't want to sort of over angle because then you can have an easier pen. You want to try and stay frontally on if you can, um, and just you know where possible. If, they're only, if his chisel can only shoot my turret then he's not going to pen me, he's going to have to lean in and actually shoot my lower plate. Put a nice shot into Chisel there through the cupola. He's going to look for try and get for a shot in for us now, uh, but he doesn't actually hit us. We're going to try and go for the drive wall to track this tank in place. We do pen, but we don't track him. Uh, and now, yeah, this chisel gets set on fire, and that is going to be the end of the day for the chisel because if he doesn't burn out, I'm going to have an easy shot there, picking up our first kill, putting us onto 2,000 damage. Now, in a 10 versus 8 scenario, so we are two tanks up. There's an enemy. I think there's any ruthless down at the bottom, and then this enemy S barn here, which is looking for shots, who has now just fired an enemy waffle on the right hand side. The ruthless is on a one shot now, so I'm hoping to take out this ruthless. We do pick up the second kill of the game, put this under 2300 damage, and now there's only five tanks remaining, so I want to just kill this waffle as quickly as I can. I still have all my hit points, um, and then I can get into sort of the base to spot the other tanks, which will probably be camping on the other side on the dunes. Um, so I'm just going to try and spot this Waffle E100 for our team to then shoot at um, if it gets detected. So we do spot the Waffle, we should be able to put one shot into this Waffle, but now I think he's just going to come and try and dump his clip in. So I need to try and pull back to get a hold down, but I'm not able to quite get there. We do bounce one shot, so we can't clip us now. We then bounce uh, a second shot, and now, yeah, I think he's uh, got one more shot to fire. Oh no, he's on reload now. Um, yeah, so we do eat about 1,000 hit points off of the Waffle, but yeah, we had the hit points to spare, and now at least that tank's dealt with quickly. Uh, which will allow us to get to the rest of the damage. We're starting to win this game, and I want to get as much out of this as I can. We're on three kills, which has 4,000 damage, 1,500 block, and a tiny bit of assistance. 
Uh, if I can get into the base on the right hand side, there is a spot where I can go hold down um, and try and spot these tanks. Um, so I'm just going to see if we can get over there if possible. Just see, we can, we'll just caress this ridge first though to see what we do detect, see if we spot anything. It could be something caught out in the open. And now I'm going to try and get to the right hand side into a dip which is hold down. Enemy uh, chief and see I get detected so I fire on the move. I wouldn't have fired if I wasn't detected because I didn't want to try and lose my spot this early. And now unfortunately I might take some damage coming in here. Thankfully for me I do bounce a shot off of the grill and a shot off the E throw. So that could have been a different game there. I could have got taken out uh, while I was trying to get in position. But now I'm hold down the tanks are going to struggle to actually be able to pen me. And I'm going to pick up all the assistance for spotting these tanks here. So you should have a nice shot onto the chieftain there. Unfortunately, I kind of fluffed that shot. I should have penned that really in order to put that chieftain onto a one shot, uh, which is a shame, but not to worry. Uh, if we do keep these tanks detected, we will pick up the assistance for doing so. Enemy um, Chinese tank sure gets detected. We put a shot into this tank. Like I said, these are all my spots, so uh, we could pick up a bit of assistance from our friendly team here if possible. I'm going to try and move forward and get the kill on this enemy uh, chieftain. Not sure where that shot went, must have just yeah, gone in between him somehow. Uh, enemy Grill's going to put a shot into us, puts us onto a 1. But we put 1 in return, uh, returning the damage, picking up 5,000 damage and 2,000 assistance. And it's only the one enemy Chinese tank destroyer left and that will bring us an end to the first replay. So let's see how we get on until we move on to the second and final replay of the video. So we pick up four kills, 5,000 damage, uh, 2,000 assistance with 3,000 block and the ace tanker. Um, so an okay game there in the IS-7, but let's move on now to the final replay of this video and see how we get on. Okay, so here we are for the final replay on Dragon's Ridge. This time there is two enemy artilleries, one enemy light tank, and again a bunch of enemy tank destroyers thanks to the contract which is on. Uh, that is kind of how the matchmaking has been recently. So on Dragon's Ridge, I'm in my I-7, you can see the top speed of this tank is fantastic. So when you're actually going downhill, so you can get that momentum, you can get this tank to like 60 kilometers an hour, um, and you can get around the map fairly quickly for such a heavily armored tank. So quite early doors, we are just having a check to see if anything is coming this way. And it doesn't actually look like many tanks you know, are, are coming this way. I guess there's only a few heavy tanks, and I found quite a lot on Dragon's Ridge. I come to this area to the to see if I can get into a little brawl with some heavy tanks, and nothing really ever comes. Quite often they just camp in their base. But if they're not going to send any tanks this way, then I'm just going to detect all the tanks on their base ridge, and hopefully we can pick up some assistance from our friendly tank destroyers covering, or maybe our friendly artillery. So immediately we obviously spotted that tank on the ridge, and we picked up 200 assistance. We're going to try and get forward now just to try and get underneath their ridge and just keep everything spotted. Knowing that I do have some tanks which can potentially uh, cover me there. So we spot two tanks. Unfortunately we do eat one from our enemy tank destroyer but we do put one in to return. And we get the reward of picking up sort of you know 2,000 assistance straight away for spotting that tank. And I'm going to be the only tank detecting all these tanks right now. So that means all of the assistance will go directly to me because there's no one else there so i've been very very aggressive but i just felt like there was nothing that the enemy team had just left this flank uh you know unprotected and, I'm, and if they're going to do that then i'm going to take advantage of that and just make sure i can keep everyone spotted so that they're not able to do any damage uh because they're just going to be having to hide from our friendly team and it's worked out well for us because we picked out 5,000 assistance 500 damage I think at this point, Swindle's actually sending me a party invite. That's why I'm not moving right now, so I'm just trying to sort that out. I think I've got that sorted out right now. Uh, and now I'm just going to caress the ridge again. Being careful that there could be tanks on the other side of the ridge, like their tank destroyers looking to shoot us. So I'm, I'm mainly focused about keeping these tanks detected at this point, because I know I am picking up assistance. So if I can just pick up the assistance and then sneak in the shots sort of here and there, uh, just pick up a little bit of damage and you know go from there just trying to keep everything detected because it's still a close game although we have managed to uh, take out two or well, two tanks have been taken out and we've managed to pick up quite a nice bit of assistance but every time i keep these tanks spotted there is a chance that our friendly artillery will hit one of them uh, and then pick up a bit more assistance out of this game 
As my friendly team start to slowly catch us up and try and move this position, now they know it's clear. And then when I get a bit of more support, we can try and deal with these tanks. See, I am conscious um, of, uh, like they say, their TDs on the other side looking for shots. Uh, so I'm just being careful. We bait a shot, bounce that off of our turret, use that opportunity to put a shot into that under the giant. Uh, why I wasn't paying attention there, pick up another shot of damage, putting us onto sort of 1500 damage. Again, we're going to try and get another shot in there, which we do, put us onto 2000. Doing a good job here at just picking up damage where we can in these Andres, kind of forcing them out of this location now. Uh, if they do back up enough, I might be able to get forward into this rock in front of me, which will um, keep me safe from their tank destroyers covering on the other side of the uh, map. Uh, but also allow me to get that little bit further to extend my uh, vision. We have a friendly tank destroyer with us now as well. Um, so we're starting to get a bit more support. We've also got tanks starting to push around the other side. Our light tank you see here, which is good news for us. Because that, if he goes and spots the TDs on the back side, then that's going to keep, you know, turn their guns or focus away from us. And allow us to get up and get a bit more aggressive. Um, Bounce another shot there. Like I said, I'm thinking about wanting to get ahead now um, and try and get into this game more, get into that ridge in the front. I'm just trying to wait for the uh, right window to do it. Now both of the tanks are fired, I am going to try and get into this location. Puts me in a better spot to try and get shots into this uh, 215B when he uh, pokes there, while still remaining hold down and protected from the artillery and protected from the TDs in the covering uh, side. Should be able to maybe get a shot in the cupola uh, here off this 215B. It keeps poking up. We do get a nice shot in there, putting this on to 2,500 damage. Then we picked up another 1,000 uh, assistance here. So we're on to about 6,000 assistance and 2,500 damage now. I'd really like to finish off this uh, enemy British heavy tank who is a one shot. But I need him to poke up enough for me to, to do so. Maybe should have pulled the trigger there, might have been able to pen the Coppola, but I think he's aware of the fact and he's playing a little bit more cautious now. Um, so yeah, he's just got to just buy my time, because there is still a lot of TDs in the, in the game. This is still losable um, situation. You know, we've had a decent start to the game. We are winning, it's looking good for us, but I don't want to throw the game away completely. So I am being a little bit patient here um, before we make our advance. I uh, want to try and just take out this British medium before we, uh, heavy tank before we go. Uh, but it looks like that heavy tank has turned into focus. That's going to give me a distance now to try. Uh, ideally, if this Andrew the Giant below us gets taken out, we're going to go and full send straight across the map and try and spot the remaining of the tanks to try and pick up more assistance. He does get taken out um, by our friendly, um, I think our Turan takes him out. Uh, sorry, our Waffle 100 takes him out. And now we're going to just push forward to try and get some more assistance out of this. Because like I said, we've got 6,500. If we can just spot a tank. And you see how quickly this tank moves when you get that little bonus of um, going down uh, a slope there to get a boost your acceleration. You can really uh, pick up the speed quite quickly. Get a nice shot on the move on that enemy tank destroyer picking up our first kill of the game. There's only two enemy artilleries and one enemy heavy tank left. I'm trying to get round to spot this last artillery which I know is up on this uh, ridge. If I spot him, I could try and boost this assistance up a little bit more. Unfortunately, our friendly team are capping, which is not really what I want. We do spot the enemy artillery. Uh, he misses his shot, which gives us enough time to probably pick up the kill on this enemy uh, uh, artillery here. Going to try and just give him the uh, shot and the move, then a ram just to try and get through him as quickly as we possibly can. Puts him on to a one shot, he then gets taken out by our friendly artillery to pick up a bit more assistance. Putting us on to 4,000 uh, um, 4, damage, just shy of 7,000 assistance with two tanks to go. But our tanks are capping out, which is obviously only giving us a minute left, um, or only 20 seconds left of this game. I know there's an enemy Morat, uh, sorry, uh, medium tank, which I think it's a Morat um, on this other side of the map. And I'm trying to get over there to get some shots in, uh, but I'm just conscious we're just going to get capped out. So I'm kind of praying for our team to get off the cap. But our friendly E100 takes out the morale. I then get detected by the artillery, so I know I should be able to spot him if I keep driving forward. Because that means he obviously has, he's, take, he's spotting me himself. 
He does spot me. There is the tank. We get a nice shot in there. We do spot him back. We pick up some more assistance, putting us onto just shy of 7,000 uh, assistance there. We then get the rest of the assistance from our friendly tank destroyer, take him out, and we go on to have quite a nice game there. Let's just get to the end of the score and we'll see how we got on. We got one kill, 4,600 damage, 8,000 assistance, getting the Scout Medal in the Super Scout i7, bringing us an end to the video. So thank you so much for your support. As always, happy tanking. Enemy in sight. Hadouken!